here at Sugar Creek. And this is my setup for the night. Oops. I've got my Go Outfitters Apex Camp Shelter. And I got my Go Outfitters Go Camping hammock. And then I'm trying some new gear that my friend Jason gave me. This is a uh, Arrowhead Equipment Jarbage Under Quilt. And then inside here I've got uh, the matching cot quilt. I do have some new gear that I'm testing out. Let's get over here so I can show ya. My tie outs here are the new goal line. It's got a reflective thread in it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I like this, it has like no stretch, which is great. It's super strong and it doesn't seem to tangle quite as much as like Amstel or Dyneema does. So this is the goal line and here is a beautiful view of lovely Sugar Creek. I'm camping right along the bank here. So, yeah, here's my setup for the evening. I got my pack hanging there. And then, it's supposed to be windy tonight, but that's okay. And then we got Ryan, and he's in his war bonnet blackbird with his mamba jamba tarp. And then we got some friends here, like Bear. Bear and Mr. Full Auto. Mr. Full Auto. Hi. And his friend, which I don't know if you had a code name. Cuz. <laughs> and this is, this is Moosey's first camping trip. He's down there. And we're having a great day. We've got really beautiful weather. It's just amazingly beautiful out here today. And we're gonna be cooking some steak and taters before long. So, having a good time out here at Sugar Creek. parts of the camping trip. We're getting into that golden hour. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'm getting ready to put some steaks on. Got some taters ready. Tracy here from Indiana Bushcrafters and we're out here at Sugar Creek and we had such a beautiful day and we're getting some hammock time. I'm hanging right next to the creek. It is a little bit chilly. It's in the lower 40s and I'm in my go camping hammock from Go Outfitters and I have my Apex Camp Shelter up. And I'm using a new top quilt and under quilt set that was given to me by my friend Jason and it's a Arrowhead Equipment Jarbage and so far I like it. Um, it is a little bit colder than I'm comfortable so I'm also using uh, some new gear that I got from Kamek 
I've got their uh, mountain blanket and uh, trail blanket and the bobcat trail quilt. So I should be pretty cozy tonight. And I also have my little uh, wool mittens and gloves and hat, socks and um, yeah, we had a really good time. We uh, and then sitting over by the fire and cooked some steaks and bacon and potatoes and spent some good time with good friends. Uh, of course, Ryan was here and uh, our friend Mr. Fault Otto and uh, another friend cousin. Uh, he was here too, and we brought Moose with us and we just had a really good day. Um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So it's a good thing we got out here today. Good morning from Sugar Creek. It's gonna be raining later, but it's still really nice right now. <laughs> There's Ryan and Bruce is out there somewhere. <laughs> the little bucket and his tools we were doing some napping last night. So nice, I think I'm just gonna relax a little bit more. Ryan's out that thing. I'm still all tucked in too. I'm trying a, a new quilt set that my friend Jason gave me. This is a arrowhead equipment, the Jarvie. This is the top quilt and I have the under quilt under me. It's a actually really nice it's a lighter weight so it's not so heavy to carry but it, it's really pretty warm I got my sack hanging up there in the Yuko like your locker it got cold last night but I was pretty warm I think Ryan got cold but if you notice he's got just a, a short under quilt that quilt's pretty warm, but um, it's not full length. And if you've ever met Ryan, he's extra length. So uh, I think his calves got cold. So peaceful. We had a steak and bacon and potatoes for, for supper last night. We had a nice campfire going, hanging out with a couple friends. And then I slept like a baby in here last night, so that's always good. I don't sleep very well very often, but I slept pretty good last night. Get my gear locker out of this and just put it on that way. It's got a water bottle and some things like that in there. Sure, here, Rod. Missed. New cordage worked out great. And you got some pictures. You can really see the reflective line, but it isn't um, kind of tacky feeling like some of the other reflective cordages. It's it's smooth, so it'll be easier to tie and untie knots. And it's really strong. It, um, my tarp stayed really taut. And in place, even though it was kind of windy. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna start raining this afternoon, so 
I think we're going to head out this afternoon before the rain comes in because unless the weather forecast has changed, um, it's supposed to rain for like 12 hours and that's just not great weather for camping. Friends are over on the other side of the trees over there. You can see you got the red buds. Nature is definitely healing. Well, I hope y'all have a good day. shoulder getting the notches in his point trying yeah let's see what you're doing so far it looks good Okay, you got some stinging nettle. You see it's got ribs. You see the little barbs on there. Notice the shape of the leaves. You can harvest the tops of these. Lots of good uses. Yeah, we got <clears throat> some stinging nettle. We got some cleavers. They kind of stick to you. You see they got kind of an unusual stem. Got some garlic mustard. Very invasive. garlic mustard guys this is a review of the shell so I've got Ryan in here we got a Kamek Rue hammock in there so what do you think um with the mylar and the sun beating down it's like an oven in here I have one concern with this because I think that you could end up with water coming in through here even with the drip line water coming in here. How is it from this side? So uh, there are adjustments to snug up the underquill part? Yeah. They're not, they don't stay put though. So do you attach them to the gear loops on the Kamek? I don't know. We're out here at Sugar Creek and currently it's about 70 but tonight it's going to be down to 40 and we're expecting 20 to 30 mile an hour wind so 
I could see one downside right now is in the summer this thing is going to be way too hot. Well, I think I was more for winter. Um, there um, are some concerns because there's some spots where the stitching isn't good, like right here. You can see that and here. Um, I noticed when we had it out before that along these seams you can actually see light through them which means that it's not going to be very water resistant so can you lay diagonal no, but not real well is there any way to get those up out what? of your face so yeah it looks like a pretty tight fit i'm going to try it out and see what i think but i think it's going to be a really tight fit I think the door needs to be a little bit wider. Yeah, there's, well, we'll check it out later and see how it goes. I'm going to throw a tarp up over it though, because as you can see, you can kind of see right through some of these seams. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, there's spots we can see right through the seams. But we're going to give it a try and see what we think. Uh, it's extremely hard to get out. So for Ryan, it's definitely a no. Can you lay on a diagonal? It's like I'm in a Columbia Omni Heat giant shot. I found it to be a little bit claustrophobic. The smell, though? Ooh, that smell. <laughs> no. Do you smell that chemical smell? What do you think about the under quilt? Is it is it close enough to you or do you need to tension it up some more? No, it's sagging. This line's got there's, that there's line's a tensioner. There's on the right side on the inside to tighten the under quilt. Yeah. But I found when you tighten them up, they just pull themselves back loose. Yeah, it'd be a pitch. This went up a little bit and the would be perfect. Yeah, we might try putting a structural ridge line in there. Nino would do all right in that. Yeah, I'm gonna try it and see. So do you think that would be warm? It feels only slightly warmer from being in here. Bag, that would be a nightmare. Yeah, I don't think that I would want to use a sleeping bag in there. I, I don't like sleeping bags in hammocks anyway. Don't think so. I don't have boots. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> hard to get out. I don't want to rip the hammock. And then put a ground pad down. So this is a finagling X. Otherwise I'll have it's not that bad, but I still was on my back to get the legs out. It needs to be up on the hand because like my butt was like an inch off the and my butt was getting warm. So if yeah. you snug it up against the hammock, it's gonna hold some heat. That's good.